Okay, so let's talk about bait for yellowtail kingfish. I guess there are three really successful baits. There's probably quite a few good baits, but there's three which really stand out. The first is, of course, small live pike. The second is live garfish. And the third is squid, or sometimes small cuttlefish. The first two are deadly, but they are both very hard to catch, pike and garfish at times. And once you've caught them, they're hard to keep alive. So the best combination of success or likelihood of success and ease of cap capture is, of course, live squid. Which is why when I come down the harbour early in the morning, you see guys on all the rocky headlands squid, uh, squidding to try to get some bait. Um, even then, it is not always easy. Many clients, and myself included, I don't consider myself a good squid fisherman by any means, spend like half an hour, three quarters of an hour, an hour, trying to get a couple of squid at times, when they're not easy to get. And what is even worse, well the one problem of course is that while this is happening it's the best time of the day for fishing, being early morning, but what's worse is sometimes that when you put them on the downrig, it drop them down and start slow trolling them around. The leather jackets can tear them apart. And that is so frustrating to have spent like an hour getting a big beautiful squid, finally get it over the side, start slow trolling it, and you see the rod tip going bump, bump, bump with these sharp little bumps because the peckers are tearing it apart, tearing the legs off and killing the thing. So, putting it all together... <coughs> We've come up with something we've been testing which works pretty well. It certainly saves a lot of time. The bait is not live. It is California frozen squid, Lunds squid, which you can buy from most tackle shops. comes in like a blue and white box, either the one pound box or the five pound box. Usually around the six bucks mark, six bucks fifty or whatever at BCF or your local tackle store. And the squid themselves, uh, regular California squid, they're white, white in appearance. So what we have got is we have got this set up. It's what we call a spoon hook. It's a largish hook, probably about 8 o size, maybe 9 o size. And it's got moulded into the shank a heavy lead bib like a lure. And what the bib does is it forces whatever is attached to the rear hook to swim and sway in the water as it's pulled forward. Much like a big bib on like a Murray Cod lure or something like that. So a slow sway. So what you do is this. You grab your box of uh, Cali squid, drop it in the, uh, live bait uh, the live bait tank, run a little water in there to thaw it out. Then you take a, a squid, put the top of the hood onto the big hook and then force the stinger hook through the head of the squid, like so, and um, run it off the downrigger or even just slow trot it on its own. And we are finding that is absolutely deadly as a setup. The squid looks not lifelike because, of course, because really squids swim in sort of a series of jerks, but it gives it like the movement which kingfish just find irresistible. And if you look in the description box down below this video, you'll see a link, or a couple of links. One showing just how deadly these things are when they're trolled at the side of the boat, having a look at the action. And secondly, we've even got a, I've even got a couple of links in there showing a live video of uh, kingfish off South Head hooking up on these. Now, what we have also done, along with ordering these spoon hooks, is we brought in a bunch of um, large nine inch soft plastics. These can be pretty deadly and work very well on the Stinger Spoon Hook Rig too. Um, the story with the soft plastics is the, that they can be very deadly in Sydney Harbour around the harbour marks, but the problem you have got there is that just a plain large soft plastic is very hard to cast. And especially considering most guys are fishing on the weekends, 
You might end up at uh, some preferred kingfish structure like uh, the tripod off Rose Bay, the yellow can off Nielsen Park. And if it's a Sunday morning when you get there, there's going to be five or six boats there. So you're not able to cast um, with the wind behind you the way you might want to. This thing, this spoon hook, gives you the extra casting range that you need uh, when you have to make a long cast and gets the lure down at depth the kings are operating. Because unless it's the absolute crack of dawn, they're not going to be on the top of the water. When you run your sounder around the tripod at Rose Bay, which is probably arguably the number one kingy spot in the harbour, um, and you mark kings there, you'll see they're about halfway down. I think from memory it's like 17, 18 metres. They're usually down around the 7 or 8 metre mark. So how is a, a soft plastic going to sink down to that level in a nor'easter before your boat has drifted off the mark? It's not. A little bit of lead weight helps. Anyway, pricing is, like all our stuff, absolutely incredible. We're going to put this together with uh, five of these hooks, five, five of the spoon hooks, and ten of these nine-inch soft plastics. Twenty dollars. That's just incredible. You can hardly even get the, the soft plastics for that. So uh, send me an email or keep reading the reports or the Facebook page for more. But um, we just can't wait till they arrive in mid-August 2014. And we think they're going to be absolutely deadly through the summer kingfish season. Thanks for listening.